Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where I'm realizing that I don't have OBS up. There we go. I mean, you wouldn't have noticed a difference, but I wouldn't be able to monitor things. Also, um, we are done with our Regency at long last. We do have this dangerous faction that is, I think, primarily there because our domain is too big, which only happened because we got stressed. Now, if our wife was better at anything, it would be fine. Um, <laughs> but she isn't. We could try to kill her. Like, what is our... Hmm. 205% plot power? I would not hate this. Let's get rid of her and find somebody who's better. We could also expel the Jewry, but I'm not going to do that immediately. A lot of people are into this. Oh yeah, this is happening. This is totally happening. <laughs> yup. Okay. Well, well, let's go ahead and kill her. She'll die by poisoned wine at an upcoming banquet. I mean, the only reason we married her was for political reasons. We also just put down this Sunni revolt. We're going to go ahead and enforce demands and execute imprisoned. There we go. Now then, this army is back where it needs to be. This army is not. So head on home to Viglia. There we go. Let's see, this guy is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon. Well, this guy's a count under an, or a baron under an independent duke. Does he want to ransom himself? He does want to ransom himself. There we go. That's how we'll handle that. Excellent. Okay. How are we doing on this faction? As soon as it's done auto-saving. There we go. 73.5. Okay. That's not too, too bad. And she died not knowing the name of her killer. Excellent. So we are now unmarried. So we need to find ourselves... Hmm... She's only a courtier, but she's a Midas-touched, shrewd, patient, ambitious Catholic, which is a bit of a problem. But look at that stewardship skill. That is intense. She has sympathy for pagans and lovers' pox. She's 42. Yeah, I think, I think Ricardia here is who we go for. Like so. And then we'll see about demanding that she uh, switch over to Lollardy. Okay, we are now married. Can we demand religious conversion? No, because she doesn't like us enough. That's fine. That's fine. I and mean, we could bribe her. How much does she cost anyway? 15 gold? Oh yeah, we'll bribe her. Now will she convert? Yes. Okay. That is all fine. Irrelevant. Don't really care. It's a lot of troops. Okay, she is now a Lollard. Perfect. And we didn't have any children, so we're fine. We are now at 9 out of 10 domain size, so we could actually go up one, but I don't think we will. Hey, look! Sunni Uprising. <laughs> really, here again. Lovely. Well, I mean, we're right here. We might as well go take it out and then come back to Veglia. There we go. It won't take too much longer to swing right back up there. We just crushed one there. And there we are. We're almost there. We are there now. Okay. Yeah, 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 you converted that guy to the Wallard faith. Uh, who is this? Patrician Achille? No. He is one of our vassals, so we're not going to make him sad. Okay, we're going to offer peace. Oh, it actually auto-ended. We are going to execute this guy. We have a valid reason. No one will care. Hey, King Pietro of Italy has converted to the Lollard faith. That is exactly who we were looking to get. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and move our court chaplain then. Hmm, where to go next? Aquitaine? Well, let's uh let's take a quick look here, a quick perusal through our powerful vassals. King of Ireland is actually Catholic. So we'll go for him first. Go proselytize to the King of Ireland. Excellent. So, we're at 74%. The soup kitchen in Northampton burned down quite recently in an accident. Without it, many of the poor people might starve. We'll pay for these repairs. 25% chance that we gain kind. People will like us if we gain kind. We didn't. It was a bit of a long shot. Now, mostly the reason that this guy doesn't like us is because he's our rival. Now, I think the reason he's our rival is I think he chose to give us Ambitious. Which is here. I think that's why he's our rival. The Waldenesian heresy, that's no good. Get out of here, Waldenesians. Nobody likes you. Now, what is that? Nomad agitation. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, it's up to the Duke of Mordva to deal with that. That's not our problem. We could build a holding. And actually, we probably should, shouldn't we? Let's go ahead and build a castle there. And that'll deal with that. Excellent. So, let's see here. One children lack an education focus. Tiziano needs one. We are going to go ahead and make Tiziano... I mean, he's already timid, but we're going to give him thrift. Just because I really like having high stewardship. High stewardship, in my opinion, is better than any of the others. So, that's what we're going to be going for. It is a bit unfortunate that we got stressed as young as we did, but... It is what it is, I guess. We are on Groom and Heir Ambition. Our wife has sympathy for Islam, but she is not celibate or anything. Our steward just died. Okay, so King of Ireland, we should put on the council. Is he no longer a rival? Is this a new King of Ireland? This is a new King of Ireland. Okay, old King of Ireland died. That makes a lot of sense. So this guy is a terrible steward. So let's see if we've got anybody here who's a good steward. Like, for example, Pietro. Skill 11. That's not the worst. This guy's skill 10 diplomacy. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's the plan then. So we're going to change his council position if I can find it in the list. Apparently I can't. Oh, he's in seclusion with his court. Lovely. Well, in that case, we will make this guy be our steward. And change council position with him, with our chancellor. There. Problem solved. Now we do have a couple of idle counselors. Uh, we're going to go ahead and research economy tech. And we're going to perform statecraft. We are at 18% threat. We're just about at the point where I want to declare war on Venice. So let's go ahead and move you over to Padua. And we'll just get our armies in place for that war. We're going to be fighting a couple of minor enemies, but it, it won't be a big deal. Let's see, we don't have a court tutor. We don't have a designated regent. I do like the King of Poland being the designated regent. That's a good idea. Another day at court, and another endless procession of matters that we're required to pass judgment on. As yet another peasant drones on about his sickly pigs and the neighbor he believes poisoned them, we feel a profound emptiness. This isn't the life we had imagined. By the blessed virgin, will you shut up about your pigs? We're now depressed. Well, that's not good. We need help with a delicate private matter we don't want the Chancellor to take care of. There are those who think us undiplomatic, and we fear they're right. And now we really need to be diplomatic, or the woman blackmailing us might spread her lies with us being unable to do anything about it. So, uh, we could get the trait stressed. Or we could ask our friend if he could help. 
I mean, we are already stressed. And depressed with another hit to fertility. Oof. Can't change until three, 1339. Okay. We're going to ask our friend for help. Let's see how exactly that pans out. Should be exciting. So, as far as our council goes, we're not going to be able to change this law, but I'm not sure that that's super important. I think that's fine. We explain the situation for Duke Serral carefully, not wanting to, him to know too much about the situation, but the fear of the lunatic woman spreading malicious rumors made us quite talkative, and we may have told Duke Serral too much. It was for the best, though. Duke Serral agreed to help, but wanted to be reimbursed in case something would happen. I mean, 718. No, go away. <laughs> we don't need that kind of help. If it was like 20 bucks, sure. But 718 bucks? No way. Get out of here. During your wife's recent visit to Obron Osh, we had the great we had a great time discussing the similarities between our people. Who is this guy? He's a pagan. Here. He wants a non-aggression pact. He respectfully disagree. We, uh, we don't need that. Usurp the title Bishopric of Stenberg. Lovely. Whatever. It's fine. Okay, so, we need to attack Venice soon-ish. I mean, we're currently at 18% threat, so we are going to have the defen the Christian Defensive Pact against us. Prince of Wales is in it. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Would he actually join in? I mean, Council's voting no on this, and there's a British Sunni revolt. Oh, look! The same exact county again. 25% revolt risk. Lovely. Well, I guess we're going to walk all the way back up there, and then all the way back down again. So that's going to be exciting. Hmm, so how do we want to do this? Well, the council would vote no. That's fine. I mean, they're voting no primarily because they're malcontents. We could still do it. But yeah, um, that that's we're, we're not going to do it immediately, for sure. 77%, they seem to be hovering right around here. It'll be fine. As we get older, they'll like us more and more and more. Tiziano says his favorite toy is missing, and he won't go to bed without it. We may have thrown it out today when we were tidying up. Do we want him to be fussy? Well, he may gain fussy anyway, we slice it. 30 prestige is not a big hit. So we'll go ahead and do that. We found the toy Tiziano was crying about after going through the trash, but now he's not satisfied because it smells. Okay, well, I guess his toy is stinky now. Poor, poor Tiziano. Also, with a name like Geraldo, I'm sorry, but we need to go to the barber. We need a fancier mustache. Hey, we succeed, succeeded in that. We'll go ahead and execute him. We still need a fancier mustache, though. Let's see here. Mm, that's pretty close. Do we have any other good options? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teresa is better at commanding. We're doing the important things. No, I think this is what we gotta have. There we go. As as fancy of a mustache as possible. Well, you, conv you converted Albino Bjorning, but that's not who we wanted you to convert at all. So, keep keep working. Let's go through our castles and spend some money, shall we? Those are all constructing things as is. We'll build a keep here in Berkhamstead. And we're going to go ahead and build a keep in Tottenham as well. 
Dunmao is constructing. They are not getting along. That's typical. We'll build a keep here. And I think otherwise we're fine. Right? Yeah, otherwise we're fine. Okay, we'll go through that again in a little bit. It is currently 1337. That's a... I, I've heard that that's a fairly elite year. Of course, we've also got just barely a hundred years... Just barely over a hundred years left. 106, to be precise, if we stop in 1444. Which I still think that's the target end date, November 11th, 1444. I'll need to double check that with Harley, but I'll completely forget, and then we'll get there. <laughs> so this guy wants to go fight against the infidel, just the one infidel, as usual. Uh, do we care? He's the Prince of Sicily. We don't care. Have fun fighting the, j the one infidel. Just spending your entire life fighting one infidel. That's definitely the life. King of Denmark has usurped the title Kingdom of Frisia. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's exciting. This guy wants to marry... this guy to our sister. No. Also, I feel relatively certain... I'm confused. Who is this person? If she's she's our sister, but she's not a sibling. Like, this is me. Oh, wait, I was at I was in the wrong view. Never mind. Never mind. She is actually our sister, and we need to find her someone to marry. We could wed her to the king of Italy. Hmm. That wouldn't be terrible. Go ahead and do that. Get us some marriage ties there. Make Italy happier. Italy requires happiness. Fantastic. They accepted. Okay, so it is now 1338, which is a considerably less elite year than 1337. Virginio is better at marshalling. Good for him. Independence is actually trickling upwards at 82.8. Oh, it just dropped. Excellent. Let's take a quick look at our vassals and see who all hates us. Queen of France, mostly. Queen of Bavaria, King of Pomerania, King of Ruthenia, King of Germany, King of Cord or Duke of Cordoba, King of Brittany, King of Lithuania, and King of Bohemia. Everyone else is neutral or okay. So yeah, I think we're fine. Virgi Virginio just got better again. Like, can we vote this guy most improved marshal? That would be nice. <laughs> okay, so how are we doing on our council? Hmm. People are pretty upset. Well, I mean, they're not actually upset. They actually like us a fair amount. They're just malcontents. Well, Dublin has been converted, but I don't think the King of Ireland has. Well, for one thing, the King of Ireland isn't actually based there. Where are you based? Middlesex, to, perfor to perform statecraft. Okay. But where's your primary title, County of Dublin? He has County of Connacht, County of Ormond, which is his actual primary title. He's handed out the, the title County of Dublin. So let's go ahead and start converting over in Ormond. He just created the Duchy of Meath. Good for him. He needed that. Middlesex is prospering. Fantastic. Okay, so as soon as we get back over here, we should be in a pretty good place, I think, to attack, if we can get our council to accept it. The status quo in China is over, though. Popular uprisings have broken out in Luoyang, and large groups of disgruntled peasants have taken up arms, led by militant monks. Trade has been halved along the Silk, the Silk Road, and China will not be able to defend its tributary states. That is interesting. Rip in pepperonis, China. 
Oops, that wasn't the button I was looking for. There we go, I think. We always knew our ambition would help us reach great places, and to acquire some wealth along the way is always a nice bonus. Gold, diamonds, or... Uh, wait. 571.6 gold. We are on speed 5. Let's, uh... <laughs> let's bump that right on down. Fantastic. Okay, uh, we could put a point into religious customs, although I don't know that we want to. Maybe a point in majesty? Short rain years reduction? That might not be terrible. Let's do it. Okay, uh, do you like us for short or for long rain? Yeah, plus two long rain. Excellent. We're starting to wipe out some of these malices now. People are going to be pretty happy with the rule of this guy, I think. And it all has to do with the fancy mustache. Hello. Hello. So, uh... Empire of Hispania here. Cannot usurp a title from someone who is at war. He is currently defending against Emir Nast the Nasser the Shadow. So we want this war to end. 69% in favor of the Umayyads. Which is kind of funny, considering that the Umayyads are a single... What is, what is this even over here? So they've got a mosque... Yep, they've got a mosque and the empire title. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, boy. Good old mosque. That's all they've got. I love it. So that war should be over momentarily. That's the Duchy of Burgundy. That's not what we want at all. Kingdom of Austrasia. That's not what we want either. What am I doing? I want County of Mercia. No, not that one. Umayyad Empire. So yeah, we we can usurp this as soon as this war ends. It's currently 73% in favor of the Umayyads. Somehow. Even though all they have is a mosque. Is this just ticking war score? I think it's just ticking war score. So we will be able to claim this very, very soon. Maybe not this episode, but almost certainly next episode. 74%, that's great. Okay, uh, before this episode ends, let's go ahead and go through our castles once more and spend down some of this money. There we go. That one's still constructing, 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 and constructing. Hello, why? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We hold this because we built it. We're going to go ahead and create a new vassal and transfer that in to this guy. There you go, bro. Have fun with that. We just inherited the kingdom of Leon again. Of course. Duchess of Leon, we're going to go ahead and grant you the kingdom of Leon as a Vice royalty. There you go. Fantastic. So she can have fun with that. Go ahead and get rid of all of this. And how are we doing on that uh, Umayyad Empire title? Yeah, I figured he'd do that. <laughs> he stole that barony from the baron that we gave it to. It's fine. Let's see, we are currently at 78% in favor of the Umayyad Empire. All this guy is, is a bishop. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. 79% in favor of the Umayyads. The peasants of Bedford are quite far apart and spread out. Our spymaster suggests investing in a provincial messenger system so that they can communicate with their kin more easily. He claims that doing so would attract more peasants to the county. I mean, we need to spend money. Do it. I'm A-OK -okay with that. Okay, so we're at 
about 80% here. We're, in fact, now exactly at 80%. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here, and next episode, we will be taking the Empire of Hispania. See you all then.